I found the perfect pumpkin. You did? The perfect one. All right, okay. here come America. Yes. <laughs> uh, we don't know what Chris is doing, but uh, what are you doing down there? We got a pumpkin. Why are you on the floor? I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm actually just Does really excited that we're pie? here. I just really like pumpkins and pumpkin patches. I'm like glowing. I'm so happy. Chris is excited. I'm on a hay bale. I'm holding a pumpkin. I'm in a flannel. I mean, it doesn't. It really just can't get any better for me. Bye. Yep. Do you really think they're haunted? No. No. But I mean a goat? Sheep? Haunted goats? Haunted sheep? Good job. Wow. Yo. <laughs> Here we go. Right there. That's a pumpkin knife. Hi everybody. Let's talk about creating relationships. Let's carve a pumpkin. Okay. So while you're working with clients and carving out relationships, I think it's important to talk about at least five points here. Point number one, you're meeting a new client for the very first time, right? It's important to be yourself. You know, whenever I meet someone new, it's always figuring out how do I communicate with this person the best and what parts of my personality can I use as a strength? Don't stab me. <laughs> Point number two, when you're meeting a client for the very first time, don't make it all about business. Oh my gosh. The first thing a client wants to know is that you care about them and you care about the business that you're gonna be working with. There's lots of clues you can actually learn about somebody. It helps you understand each other and it can get you closer to your goal. Nobody tells you how much work carving pumpkins is. Nobody tells you how much work building relationships are. Oh, see you guys, we're relating everything to a pumpkin. That's you right. Did you catch on to that yet? Tip number three, being the best isn't as important as helping someone be their best. One of the hardest parts of having a relationship with a client, especially in a more freelance field, is figuring out the boundary between friends and like work. You're there to actually help them out, solve a goal, solve a mystery, solve a problem. Right? That's they're to do here. a job. Pretty much. Tip number four. Let your clients know that you care. Right? Which means communicate often to them. Do you communicate often to your clients? I try to text my clients at least every other day. Even if it's just giving them an update on something that I'm working on. As I always tell people, people don't care how much you know unless they know how much you care. Find something of value that you can share with them or what's happening in your business or maybe you've seen something or read an article, send that article over to them. It's all about purposeful communication. Chris is almost done here. So tip number five, let's go above and beyond your client's experience. Prioritize your first impressions and not just the first impressions of when you initially meet them, but the first impression every time that you see them. You know, if I have a client, I'm always there on time, smile on my face, ready to work and better their company, they're gonna like me a whole lot more. Um, hopefully you're not basing this on how you carve pumpkins. Whoa, I need you to back <laughs> off. I am okay. doing my best. Whoa. You done, Chris? Yeah, we're good. Let me turn off the lights. All right, the Creative Runners 2022 pumpkin. Bum, ba da bum. Ooh. There she is. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yo. What was that? I'm gonna check that out. You just, just stay right oh, here, yeah, okay? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you want a knife? What was that? That was creepy, dude. Oh, okay. I gotta 
find Chris. He's been gone so long. Let's see what's going on. Chris? Chris? Ah! 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 Oh my gosh! Chris! Hey, Steven! Yo! Hey. <laughs> what? Tip number six never stop having fun with your clients. Ooh.